What's going on everybody? Welcome to part four of our intermediate Python programming tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're gonna be talking about list comprehension in sort of generators, but really generator expressions. And we'll be talking about generators more uh, later on. So first of all, to start, uh, one of the most common generators that you've probably been using is range. So when you say for i in range of five, this does not generate a list zero, one, two, three, four. It's a generator and it, it's a, it generates a stream in the range of zero to five, which is produces zero, one, two, three, four. So, but it doesn't do that and save it all into memory as opposed to say list comprehension or a list that actually obviously would, would store that into memory. So in Python 2, um, range actually isn't a generator and it does store that entire list into memory, which is why if you, in Python 3, you can get away with saying like i equals range this. That's okay. You're gonna be just fine when you do that, right? We can do that real quick. Okay, boom, it's already done, right? But in Python 2, if you run that code, it's gonna be like, <clears throat> like it's just not gonna happen and you're gonna have to close out of Python, okay? So, because it's generating a list and it's just gonna blow your memory. So, generator. Now, fundamentally, we'll, I'll have to keep hitting this point as we go through this, this entire course, really, but list comprehension, or a list, is going to be faster but it's gonna use your memory, right? It's gonna use your RAM to store that list and that's why it's faster, it's already loaded. It's, boom, it's in memory. Generators, on the other hand, are gonna be slower, but they're not gonna use as much memory. And slower is like with an asterisk because building a list actually like when it comes time to, to build and save that list to a variable, that can actually sometimes be a, a, a pretty time intensive process. So actually sometimes generators are faster, but in most like raw cases, the generator is gonna be slower. It's just not gonna blow out your memory. Cool, now that we have that out of the way, how do we build these things? So maybe you've seen things like i for i in range five and maybe it's uh, x, y, z equals i for i in range five. What the heck is that? So what that is, is basically it's the same as saying x, y, z equals empty list for i in range, it's not the same, but it, it produces the same output for some correction on that one. Uh, for i in range five, x, y, z dot append i. Okay, these two things do the exact same thing. We can print xyz and then do the same thing again okay same output so that's list comprehension now what's a what about a generator expression so a generator expression is literally the exact thing just instead we use parentheses generator boom okay but those parentheses make all the difference because this is not gonna store this into memory. It make, it's a generator now. So, uh, so for example, if we do print, um, let's do it up here, XYZ, XYZ, run. One of them's an actual list, it's in our memory. The other one, hmm, weird, it's a generator object. And what do we do with a generator object? Well, as you might guess from before, when we did i for i in range five, you iterate over a generator object. So in this case, you would say for i in x, y, z, print i, and then you're able to iterate over it. But the magical thing about a generator is it was not, it didn't store that range, um, or didn't store this, right, as a list, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, as opposed to this one. So if this range instead was this, don't try this at home. I'll probably regret this. Let's see, what are we using here? 500,000? Let's do that. We'll actually do that. That'll help us sort of visually time it. I thought it would be done by now, but maybe not. My goal is to show you that as soon as pretty much the list comprehension is done, the other range would be done. Surely a range of 5,000 is not too much to ask. It's too much to ask everybody, I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, we're still in. Oh, the problem is we're printing. Okay, yeah. No, that's the problem. Sorry. Dumb. Of course. <laughs> Let's open that back up again. I'm pretty sure that's the problem. Let's just say done. Try again. Okay, yeah. So... Rather than uh, this, now let's add, let's go back to 500,000. Or what is this, 5 million? That's 5 million, that's okay, we'll do 5 million. Yeah, okay, 5 million is acceptable. 5 billion. Okay, that one's taking a little longer. Took off one zero. We'll see if that's any fast. There we go. So, okay, that's a good one. So, waiting, done. And then the generator's like, bam, right? Because we didn't need to store it into memory. Okay, so that's why the generator was much quicker to generate. But then as you start to actually want to iterate through it or do something with it, the generator is going to take, um, take a longer time. Okay, so that's an introduction to list comprehension and generators. In the next tutorial, we are going to apply a function to one of these and also talk about kind of embedding them into themselves and stuff. So if you have any questions or comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support subscriptions. And until next time.